And we're back in the game with some more Total War Rome Remastered, uh, playing as Germania. Well, we're not doing so well, are we? Uh, we're getting ganged up on. Once again, it seems as if all the AI factions only want to fight against me, and don't want to fight each other. I certainly don't mind fighting factions. This is Total War, after all. But when they completely ignore each other, uh, that's ridiculous. Right, we're going to try. Did they just merge, or did they just disappear? I think they just they just merged, didn't they? I remember the last episode that there was two forces there. Well, if they've uh, merged, that's fine. We'll go after them. We actually outnumber them by a fair amount. Is that their leader? No. The thing is, they have chariots, don't they? That's why their generals always have large bodyguards. But factions that border each other and have uh, taken each other's territory at some point should fight each other. They shouldn't just go after one faction. Alright, ooh, we've got some, uh, what, snow? Heavy rain? Right, we've got one skirmish unit. Alright, march forward, just like we did last time. That's all we've got to do. By the time we get to that point, we will have uh, started encountering them, wouldn't we? Right, it says Chieftain. Is he my heavy uh, family leader? Alright, we've got a lot of units with three bronze chevrons. Let's see if we can get anyone up. Oh, there goes our general suiciding himself. Let's see if we can get anyone to silver chevron by the time we finish this battle. Go on. Go on, sit there. You're going to get piped. Well, you're going to get poked with a long pointy stick. Not quite a pike, but very close. They're all bunched up in the middle. Come on, keep moving. All right, there they go. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Already. Yeah, they do have a habit of just stopping, but that's fine. We are getting some missiles from their chariot cav. This is the point where we need to start sending them at an angle to go through there. No, wrong, wrong. Well, that will actually work to a degree, but I thought I had selected those ones. Right, watch them die off. They will die. You'll die. See if we can get this one some support. Nope, those are broken. That's fine. And now they're going at a bit of an odd angle now, but anything they encounter. They will kill off. Oh, those ones did get behind us, didn't they? Come on, skirmishers. Go and help out over there. Bring the general up for morale support. Yeah, but we're doing fine. We've lost four percent. That's literally nothing. Move out of Warfare! Harlan! Spear Warfare! 
keep moving. Right, still only lost four percent, taking out forty two. Let them just keep rallying. If we had more cavalry, we could definitely chase them down. Should I send my general? They do still have some chariots out there that are active. Keep on pushing. Oh no, we've lost five percent. They are. They are attacking. But you'll be okay. Just gotta keep realigning them. Looks like everyone's still moving. Is that the skirmishers? They don't have anything that can counter them. Not really. If they get on our flanks, then we're in trouble. But other than that, they can't do too much. Alright, General. Go on. Chase them. Just gotta watch out in case any of those chariots will try to get to him. See, like that one has rallied the head hurlers. Go all the way through, General. Those are shaken. You'll probably break them again. We're getting close to the border. Yep, broken. But get through to that one if you can. Still got those chariots there. Uh, there's one running right through. Indeed, butcher them if we can. Zoom in. Now that's a big blob. We'll go and speed it up. Speed it up some more. Because those haven't broken, have they? Just like that one. They haven't either. Yeah, they're going to be a pain to deal with. We will run them down eventually. That's why we need some extra cavalry. There's another unit down there, unit or two. Just have to wait for them to run out of missiles. 
basically, or to catch up to them and destroy them, like so. They did right, didn't they? We'll get to them. Maybe our general can intercept them. But that was... Oh, we ended up taking 14% casualties. We knocked off 91% of them. Who's left on the field? Uh, this unit. Well, it's actually worth going after them, maybe. Yeah. So we killed their general and destroyed their army. Mm, almost 500 left. Wonder if they're going to bring over any more from by ship. Maybe we'll do a migration campaign and go over to the British Isles. Right. Uh, ooh, we're going to make a profit. Yay! Remember, last episode they bribed one of my diplomats, uh, Ricard, wasn't it? Yeah. Blast them. Blast them. Blast their eyes. He only has a 31% chance of getting in there. Right, we can get in there. What do they have in there? It's 3,000. So three units plus whatever's laying around out here. Under there. We did successfully manage to defend that settlement twice, didn't we? But we don't have any money to repair it. And here they come again. And the walls are damaged, but they didn't go straight in this time. So that can at least hold for six turns. That we know of. Do you have any extra generals? Well, we have a general there. Right, let them merge up, please. Well, there's a ship, but no troops. Right, what's your chance now? It's only 31%. Oh, there's those rebels. They're still hanging around. There's our diplomat. Be quick. Our patience is limited. Right, that's very generous. Wonder if they will give us any money. Ah. What happened there? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. Regretfully, we must decline. Be well, quick. I think Our you. Patience is limited. I think you do. Hmm, they're a lot stronger, though. Regretfully, we be quick. Ah, Our come on. is limited. Regretfully, we must decline. All right. You don't want it then. Not much we can do about it. No, Khan Gauls don't attack us. If they attack. I'm going to have to destroy every building. Try to get enough money. Get a ship and. Uh, Sail to the British Isles as a secure base, hopefully. But in the remastered, uh, the AI is very good at uh, naval invasions. I actually like them quite a bit. Well, they snuck some troops over there. Alright, well, we can win this one easily, I think. Even though they have some archers. 
but then we've got that fruity eye force that I just saw so maybe we'll have to destroy or abandon this settlement but it is bringing in money and if we lose it we'll go even deeper into debt mm hmm it's always a fine day so when it's not all right we'll just do one solid row with all of those there we go you go there actually we'll spread those out like so speed it all up that's uh, the archers there isn't it? nope where's the archers? charging in yeah. ill news comes unlooked for the enemy have taken the walls they're uh, broken those are shaken we've lost one percent we've only got 550 men in here to begin with actually che um, chewing through that unit aren't they Yeah. Charge out. Butcher them. Kill them. Slaughter them. Goats make good eating. That's going to be a hundred percent. Victory is the reward of warriors. Great victories like this. Well, easy enough to defend. The problem is, how long can we hold it if we get a big enough army against us? Are the Brutii going to turn on us? Well, they didn't. Right. Ooh, we're making 110 coins. But they're very unhappy already. Now we're making negative 8. You've been besieged. And you do not have pikes. Is that my leader? Back from here. Oh, do I try to somehow come back and save him? Hmm? Faction destroyed Parthia is gone. And they had that territory up there. And the pink. They're gone now. Right. Can we get there? Yes. Settlement under siege. Right. Thirty three hundred. We have a spy in there, but he didn't open the gates. He looks pretty old though. Right. And they're gonna come after that settlement. We just don't have enough troops to hold the settlements and push them back. Blast. Right, we did get peace already with the um, Thracians. That's under siege, is it? No? It's demanding. Will you give me some money? It won't give me much. Would you consider? It'll end up being about five hundred, I think. Would you consider? Would you consider? A most generous yeah, proposal. There it is. Alright, well, we got 500, but hasn't helped us too much. Alright. 2,000 population there. And we did get in 5200 up there right so they've got four settlements don't they 
Yeah, I feel like we're going to have to go over to Britain just to get away from everybody. Yeah, now we've gone a lot more into debt. Oh, we got two new generals. Did they come in somewhere useful? Ceasefire in effect. Yeah, right there where he got besieged. And right there. And they've got yet another general with 10 units. <sighs> Do we break the siege? Hmm? Oh, where did that army come from? Oh, man. Alright. We've got a lot more civilians coming after us. Awaiting your command. Be quick. Our patience is limited. Regretfully, we must decline. Alright. Well. I will what if I destroy everything? 266. Mm. I'm going to abandon this settlement. If we can't get away from all these enemies, um, let me see. I'm going to merge everyone and leave you behind. What's your upkeep? 200 a turn. Alright. Kick him. Come to the curb. Alright. Come over there, because we got a second general. What do they have? Well, we might beat them. I'm going to bump that up. Let them put it under siege. Um, so, negative 22, 40. Right. They may capture this in any case, but it's not going to be worth anything. I'm going to go to Britain. That's what I'm going to do, if I can get enough money up. Right, that's already very high, even though you're already on very high. Yes, it's a shame that we're having to abandon them, but don't see a better alternative at this stage. We're just under constant attack. Uh, we're in debt. We're not making money. And we have a lot of enemies. We can win battles easily. Field and uh, siege. Well, we can't do anything else. Right. Do we even have a port? We don't even have a port. Right. They have a port though, don't they? And this one has a port. General. Right. If we ought to resolve that one, how bad will it be? Uh, very bad. Victory. However, however... Right. 1672 will become slaves, temporarily boosting the popular um, income. Hmm. But I will exterminate them and then see if we can get a ship. Keep an eye on them. You now there's two forces over there. Right, what's the ship going to cost? Me? 540. Right, pay for that. Bump up your tax rate so we're going to have some income. We've got 822 population. We don't want them to have any population after we capture it. Do we get some cavalry? Yeah, I think we'll get some cavalry because we've got a lot of pikes. Right, 761. We might be able to get them all retrained. Let's see. Some of them are very depleted. No, we're not going to have enough population. No, uh, there. 112 left. Oh, I'm getting the ship. Right, I, so I can't get the cavalry. So that does leave a few more. 
Right. So we'll get those trained up. We'll use him and those two generals to try and break out from there. But I think we'll lose both of those settlements in the end turn. This might be the only force that we have left that we can get over to Britain. If we can fight our way through that army and whatever's there. Right. So we're going to leave this episode right here. So we can start the next episode with taking those out and fighting the way to the port. So we'll have to see. I mean, their settlements could be very well built up and they could have a lot of troops in Britain. If they do, we might just get wiped out and then that's the end of the campaign. But we'll go out fighting. <laughs>